Molson, the official beer of Hockey Brown, to announce its multi-year partnership with the league and doing something very innovative, sponsoring the top of the jersey where their names would usually be. In order for more visibility on the players, you'll notice that difference tonight. These jerseys are limited edition and will be for today's game until moving forward in the future. I'm Daniela Ponticelli alongside Soraya Tinker on the call tonight. We start off back in the neutral zone in Toronto. Trying to create something interrupted by Aaron Ambrose and it is Elaine Julie in net for Montreal. Their goaltending tandem is switched on and off. Here's a chance from the point. She'll rim it around down low to Turnbull. Turn around in front. It's loose and Spooner couldn't get her stick on it. Melody Dau in the way, and here comes Laura Stacy with all kinds of space in front. Can't get the shot off. Campbell with a big stop reads it all the way through. And what an interesting start, Daniela. Toronto sustaining pressure in the O zone there for a while, but then Montreal with the quick break. Stacy speedy all the way, but just can't get that shot off. And Campbell has to come out of her net to put her put a stop to that one, but nonetheless a good chance for Stacey moving forward in this first period. In the Toronto zone, O'Neal won the faceoff, but very quick Toronto able to jump on that possession and Montreal certainly with plenty of weapons in the faceoff circle. O'Neal being just one of them. Now Miller, far side finds, centering feed to Spooner. She's going to work her way in close. Off to go around, wrap around, stop, she scores! Second line for Toronto getting this first goal on the board. Breaking the puck out quite easily. Natalie Spooner comes wide, and we know she loves the wraparound. She comes all the way around. Julie stops that first shot, but Hannah Miller is right on the doorstep to put that one in. Montreal's got to pick up six there, right in front of Julie, and help her out. It's a minute and 20 in. Hannah Miller, four assists on the season now for Natalie Spooner. Now another chance. No, nope. and taken away by Poulin, not allowing that one close to Chuli this time. Head coach Troy Ryan for Toronto saying, of course they're thinking about Poulin. He doesn't normally talk about other players on other teams, especially when he's doing his international work with the Canadian team, but you've got to talk about Poulin, the Poulin factor. The offensive zone draw. Possession gets taken by Montreal instead. Keppel up to Poulin, trying to find some open space. Goes cross eye, soft spot. Poulin just catches an edge there in the neutral zone. Yeah, that was Daou to Poulin, now fast. Ripples back, finds Turnbull. Deflected off stick, and The Rock chasing it down. Back behind Connors. She scored last game, a beauty bar down. Both teams played Wednesday night. Both coming away with wins. Montreal on a three-game streak, their second of the season. So they know how to put together wins as well. And LaRock trying to find some space. Back to Callie Flanagan. Quick touch by Nurse, goes back. Now Catherine Daou. She's got Jillian Dempsey. Dempsey. Just why Dempsey scoring her first PWHL goal Wednesday against New York. And Maureen Murphy controls it. Back to Catherine Daou. Down to Murphy. Chase on. Nice call. Brittany Howard. Those two play together. Of course, for the Toronto Six. Now around. They go. Finds Flanagan at the point. Physicality, of course, will be a big component of this game. Both coaches acknowledging that, knowing they're going to have to create moments out of a good defensive play. Leslie working it along the board. Loose. Flanagan with some control. Bats it down. And if you notice, Daniela, the, their defense, the Toronto defense are so active, not allowing Montreal to that zone exit. Back around Campbell. That gets stopped by Bette. Back to Bougeot. 
These two, of course, also dangerous for Montreal. Caitlin Willoughby working it for Toronto. Finds it again. And now with speed, Willoughby coming in, looking for room with the feed and in front it's stopped and almost unbelievable. She had Bach with her, Bougeau over to Bette. Montreal now. Important, important to note, Willoughby on the, on the fourth line here for Toronto, but she's been able to be spotted in and use her speed and we see her get a quality chance there on Julie. She's still looking for her first PWHL point, has played in all the games with Toronto, so certainly contributing to their win streak. And right now, Laura Stacy just caught offside. Now, Caitlin Willoughby has been spotted in all along the lineup, whether that's first, second, third, fourth, but she's got some incredible speed here. Beats Leo along wide and puts that puck to the front of the net. But Leo Lung comes up with that rebound and clears the front of the net for Elaine Will Willoughby from Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. Played in University Women's Hockey at the University of Saskatchewan. Now down low, Toronto. Shots on goal, favoring the home team 4-1. to one. Of course, they have the lead after that Hannah Miller goal. Early on in this game, Elaine Chuli. Is it quick? Laura Stacy keeps control. Over to Ambrose. Now Dau for an open lane. Stacy right there so fast. The Rock bats it back. Dau now. Reads places. Catherine Dau this time throws it on the net and Campbell reads it through traffic. Back to the game, it is a 1-0 lead for Toronto at this time. And Montreal, they know how to close gaps. Coming in tight. Now Katie Tabin. Stopping that momentum. The other way, Teresa Manisheva. Scooped up now by Sarah Nurse. She's setting something up, can't get the shot off. Tough spot on the ice. And now Maureen Murphy trying to feed it up to Leah Lum. It's taken by Monroe and Flanagan. And again, Toronto doing a really good job at keeping possession whenever they have the puck and making Montreal work for it to get it back. Leah Lum all over the ice for Montreal. She scored her first two PWHL assists against. Now Dubois winds up just wide. Against Toronto, that was the thought. Dubois is coming in with speed, and Mariah Keppel as well. It is offside. And Sophie Bette tries to feed it up to Dubois. Taken away by Victoria Bach. Bach coming in fast, gets through, shoots. And a save by Chuli sends it near side. Katie Taven plays it over to Catherine Dahu. What a feed to Poulin. Nice to keep control, but Renata fast in the way. Here comes Jocelyn LaRock. She'll set things back, find a feed. As Connor's there, sharp angle. And Poulin appears to be without a glove here. Dangerous situation for her. <laughs> we'll keep going here, Melody Dau. Laura Stacy just trying to work around fast. Once again, Stacy on her edges and in front. Campbell tries to make the save. And again, it's live, it's active, and it's sprung free. The work that took place in that crease, Soroya. Not only from Campbell, but support from her team. And that's exactly what you have to do. Here's another chance, Stacy takes the shot. She's been on fire, getting plenty of scoring chances throughout this season, coming to this game with 51 shots. Now Emma Malte, trying to work her way. Malte, another one of the players on Toronto who's been having so much success during this win streak. Coming up far side, Alexa Vasco stopped short. Flanagan races to it. Now Leslie. Katie Taven doing Taven things. Plays it to Murphy. Gets in front. Shoots. Saved. No. Again. Rebound. The official swarming. Marie-Philippe Poulin will be taking 
this face-off wins it. In fact, she has taken the most overall face-offs in the league. And she's sitting at a 56% efficiency. Bet on Poulin. Now Daou sends it across to Ambrose. She tries for the long shot. Stacy battling for with Turnbull. The rock and blue. Get on it. Turnbull keeps taking up her space. That frees the puck. Now LaRock pushes it up. What a stop there by Ambrose to do what she could to keep it in the zone. That was great body positioning by Sarah Nurse there behind the net on Laura Stacy. That's exactly what you have to do with a big body like Laura Stacy is get between her and the puck. And here comes Natalie Spooner over to Miller. Patience. Look for the wraparound. She gets cut off. Now Montreal will get going here. Dubois. Cross ice feed to Bette. Skips over. The Rock tries to push it up for Miller. This is that physical play. Both teams were anticipating, ready for Tabin. Looking for the pass. It's the long shot off the end board. Monroe with Maureen right in front. Campbell forced to cover up. Toronto trying to maintain its dominance, not just in its current win streak, but in this series with Montreal. Daou trying to work it through the middle. Send back to the line. Keppel shot through traffic behind Poulin. Rushes to it. Howard with it. Back to Poulin and the line. Carried away. Keppel patient to Stacy back again. Looking for some movement and in front. What a bounce. Great job for Calm for there. There's Stacy. The pass saved by Campbell. And what a hard shot, of course, from Laura Stacy. Rebecca Leslie will dump it down. Aaron Ambrose tries to look it over to Dubois. Kogan. Trying to find Turnbull there. Bach over to LaRock. Toronto looking to get going here after Montreal's had some chances. Shots are tied at seven apiece. Still a 1-0 lead for Toronto after the early goal. Malte in the mix here. Battling with Turnbull, those two. Tough line for Toronto. Flanagan shoots and gloved by Chu. Well, Montreal scored three first period goals for the first time in the season last game, Wednesday in New York. What a shot by LaRock. Just fired down the lane. Pass off of Sarah Nurse. Now Keppel feeds it back to Poulin. Montreal tries to cycle it around and Nurse getting up on Ambrose. Of course, those two played together on the Canadian national team. Both named to the 2024 World Championship roster announced this week. Spooner, she's also on the roster. <laughs> surprise, surprise. We're not a fast. Oh, she's also on the roster too. Okay, we're just gonna keep doing this. But fast coming through. Now Comfer in quick, drop past a box. Look up the boards, Flanagan. They were all set up down low. Chuli makes the save. And again, Toronto doing a great job not allowing zone entry. They're stepping up on the blue line and creating those turnovers. Sarah Nurse gets the puck here, crosses the blue line, realizes she doesn't have many people with her, hits the delay, and hits Jocelyn Rock, who takes that one-timer towards Chuli, just misses the net wide. But again, a good job from Toronto back-checking, picking up those pucks in the neutral zone. Comfort in the face-off circle. She's been invited to the evaluation camp. They're doing things just a little differently than the Canadian squad. They get set for the championships in Utica early April. Julie plays it over to David and Dempsey with some quick work. Up to LaFour. Coming in quick. Hogan. Now Turnbull. Toronto has it. Looking for that pass to Connors. Montreal so quick to disrupt the play. 
Fast, sends it back. Catherine Daru, down low. Montreal just trying to work out of their own end here. They haven't come too close to the Toronto blue line since that faceoff. Back and right in front, Monte was on the doorstep twice. Julie with quick saves there to keep Montreal. And Montreal, on the move. Montreal can definitely tidy up their D zone here. Malte should not be left out alone in front of the net. They had two people on her, but they got to pick up her stick and make tape to tape passes in zone to get the puck out. Oh, Keppel, looking for some room. Finds Melody Daou down low. Stacy. And a wind up shot, Boulin off the pad of Campbell. Back in the neutral zone we go. Stacy will carry it over. Finds Daou now. Poulin. She throws it on the net. No one to collect the rebound for Montreal. And so a line change for the home team. And a chance for Natalie Spooner to come out. And a penalty is on the way. Go against Montreal. Giving Toronto the player advantage. Both of these teams getting quality chances here. Montreal does need to hone in on their defensive end and make sure they're picking up sticks in front of the net. Amo Malte almost getting a chance there on Chuli. But on the other end, this first line for Montreal, Stacey giving Poulin that one-timer pass. And then we have a penalty on the other end. Poulin taking down Spooner after Spooner caught her in the neutral zone. Toronto will head to the power play here. That tripping call and this power play is brought to you by Royale Tiger Tell Power through tough messes. Flanagan to Turnbull. There's some space to bring it down low. Spooner set up right in front of Chuli. Cross ice. Miller to Spooner. Back behind the net, Turnbull. Back to Flanagan again. And now Miller with a shot. Turned away by Julie. Head coach Corey Chevry saying, we worked on it, we knew what we needed to address, so she doesn't think it's a systemic concern for their penalty kill. Stacy doing the work to find Ambrose, far side. And again, Coach Corey Shepherd said they need to focus on their five-on-five -five production, but you definitely can't do that when your best player and captain is in the box. So they definitely have to work on not taking those penalties and at the same time knowing how to kill those penalties as well. And Rock sends it down, Poulin leading her team in points, in goals, in assists. Now the Rock winds up. Montreal trying to clear the zone. They have to make sure that puck is out. The Rock gets that shot off, but Julie sees that puck clear all the way into her glove. Kristen O'Neill's 52% of the faceoff circle. Montreal has to defend this penalty kill fast. As the clock now to Turnbull. We're in the last minute of play here in the first period. Turnbull takes it around. Has Miller. On the left side, Miller in front looking for Spooner. Natalie Spooner has the most power play goals in the league right now at four. Turnbull to Spooner. And it's bounced away. Nice Great little, play by Montreal. Nice little bat of the air there by Katie Tabin. Now Turnbull to Spooner. And away they go. The movement. It finds Callie Flanagan. She looks for Sarah Nurse again. Montreal penalty coming, penalty kill coming in. Effective for the first as Poulin. Back on the ice. Board battle. Likely where this first period will come to a close. I'm joined now by Montreal defender Aaron Ambrose. And Aaron, your team of course has been known to score first. So from your seat on the ice, Seeing that first goal, of course, get scored by Toronto. How would you describe the first period? Uh, I think it was a little bit slow of a start for us. Um, I think there's some things that we can clean up. Puck's bouncing a little bit on both sides. Uh, you never want to give up a goal that early, but Truly did a great job of kind of keeping us in it. And then 
I mean, we really rebounded well, had some good chances, so we just got to find a way to put the puck in the back of the net now. Well, you played Toronto twice, and you know so many of these players, of course, having played with them on the national team. So for you, just looking at this defensively over the next two periods, what would you like to see unfold to start the middle frame? I think just a little bit quicker puck movement uh, on the back end. I think we can do a better job of putting pucks on the tape for our forwards to kind of get going and make sure it gets in their hands quickly. Um, we know they're a hard, forechecking team, physical team, and uh, that's a lot of fun to play play in a game like that. So just got to make sure we're moving pucks up ice quickly and the chances are going to come for us. Thank you so much, Aaron. Thank you. The battle at center ice goes Montreal's way. Poulin winning four out of six face-offs in the first period. Starting strong here to bring the action to the Toronto zone. Stacy to Daou. Looks like he's a back shot by Keppel. Stopped by Campbell. Pushed to the far side, and you can hear the crowd. And a big collision through the boards. will be whistled. Laura Stacy appears to be down here. Big hit thrown in the corner from Toronto. You see Emma Malte trying to put that one back down low. And then Renata Fast and Laura Stacy just go head to head in the corner. And Renata Fast comes out on top, but Stacy's shaking up a little bit here. So we'll find the face off just outside Toronto Blue Line. The nurse playing keep away as Ali Munro. One of six players for Toronto to have scored their first PWHL goal during this win streak. Lots of scoring from this Toronto team. Of course, plenty production from players like Miller out on the ice. The open scoring here tonight. Now, Murphy trying to keep control. O'Neal down low. Montel was trying to get together. Catherine Daou now along the blue line to Taven with a shot. Wow, just skims off the shoulder of Campbell. I'm not sure if Campbell saw that one. That one just hit her and bounced off into the corner. But in between periods, we heard Aaron Ambrose talk about it. They need to clean up their D zone and make the passes easier for the Here players. comes Samantha Kogan in front. And Montreal able to stave that one off. Another shot, that one from the point. It gets to Bach down low. Katie Taven takes it away, though. O'Neal to Bette, batting at it. Ends up back below the goal line again. Another go, Kogan looking for it. Now Rougeau from the point. Back down to Comfort. Plays it around. Got Knowles far side. Bach trying to pull through. Talked about it before, Bach signing with Toronto. A game into this win streak, and so she's only known Toronto wins since being on the ice in blue. Now Katie Tabin trying to protect the puck. Toronto. And again there, we see Montreal getting frustrated behind their own net there. They have to put pucks tape to tape. And well, it finds Brittany Howard now. Coming in close, shoots. Oh, and the tip-in wasn't there by Leslie. Still looking for her first PWHL goal. And Montreal going the other way. Bette shoots. A quick save by Campbell, turns it around. And here comes Toronto. Howard again will take the left side fast. Press to the outside, but not a fast. Gets it. Connors. That was a bizarre bounce, but Julie, of course, able to see it. Now Flanagan shoots through traffic in front. Ambrose blocked that one, blocked the shot. Now in front again. Keppel right there for Montreal. Connors with it again. Over to Flanagan this time for City outside. We'll send it back around. Connors picks it up. Over to Monroe this time. Montreal staying sharp on the four checks. Toronto. Turnbull. Pushed off it by Poulin. Now Stacy. They'll go for a line change. And that gives the home team some time to breathe, although Stacy still there. <laughs> Going off for the change now. And important to note, she's clearly not hurt. She's back out on the ice, so great to see Laura Stacy back out here. And this is going to be a tough week 
I mean, for all PW, uh, PWHL teams playing multiple games, but 3-4, Montreal, Bougeau through. Traffic, Bette rushes to it. Now, Bougeau is quick for Toronto. Fires it down to Hannah Miller. Looking for that nice stretch pass to get in front. And again, that puck not all, right on Miller's stick, but again, she does, doing the little things right, able to put that puck in deep and just chip that one by the Montreal defenseman. And Natalie Spooner, the do it herself, comes in close. Support from Miller in front. Natalie Spooner's goal on Wednesday was unassisted. She's opportunistic. We're in the Montreal zone, and despite the puck finding a Toronto player, it's pushed into the neutral zone, sent all the way back. Difficult to ice here. A number of players kind of getting in on the boards. Montreal, Daou to Poulin. It's their top line. Trying to find the equalizer. Quick play down low. Brings it up along the boards. Ambrose. And <laughs> what a moment, Poulin. Still finds a way to get the pass to Melody Daou. Back they go. Poulin trying to get around LaRock. They'll be back on a team together for that world championship in April for Canada. I'm loving the tenacity of this top Montreal line. We see Laura Stacy die for a pop. Poulin play that one on her bottom in the neutral zone, making a perfect pass. But nonetheless, the, this first line for Montreal has been great. Now Bougeau needs the puck. Trying to find Bette in the slot. Toronto just on it, both teams. Trying to use their speed and physical presence on the ice. Now loose and in front, the four. Batting at it again, Bette was right there, but Taven through traffic. That shot blocked by Vasco. Feel that one. Taven sends it around, tries to find LaFour. Bougeau coming in, getting a bit of a hit on Vasco. Look at the Leslie. Pulling the puck from the board, but getting caught up. That door is open of a scary moment there and now we're getting into it the rivalry heating up and this is what we like to see i mean the rivalry is heating up these players throwing fists at this point Courtney howard makes some serious words with lafour there was a bit of a scary moment there soroya where the the gate was slightly open and we can actually hear the communication on the ice warning hey it's open it's open LaFort throwing that hit on Rebecca Leslie and Monroe not liking that one. She gets into it with Bougeau and then Howard steps into it as well and then everyone's in it. <laughs> we have a bit of an unexpected breather on the ice right now as the officials have a discussion. Player safety is always the most important in this league and they'll face Montreal again next Sunday. I have to laugh at that because if this is how it's going today, Things are gonna get feisty in Pittsburgh. Blair Turnbull shoves Stacy off the puck. Now fast. Comes in and there's the boom laid by Poulin. Montreal penalties. Two minutes and the in in-house announcer reading off all the penalties now. Will be for uh, roughness. So we got some four on for hockey. You definitely got more space and time out here to work with the puck. Similar to three on three, but a little different with the extra man. A little payback there, Stacy on fast. Now, Tabin. Over to Lump. They'll work it around. Stacy to Lump. Be patient, they've got some time here. Tabin, it is four on four. Gloria just said, because of all of those penalties, three players each in the penalty box. Now, Dao sets up, and a kick saved by Campbell. And that's a good shot choice when Melody Dao there put that one far pad, gave Campbell to kick out a rebound. There was just no one there to put it in. Turnbull, and just a fine multi, but O'Neal right on her. O'Neal now without a stick, but Melody Dao 
comes through, carries it over herself. We'll take it through the neutral zone, gets by. Looking around Monroe. Trying to push that off. Now Venetiava. He laid ahead. We have a player on the ice, Venetiava. Action still taking place. Monroe and the crowd wanting these calls, but Sarah Nurse will play on and crash the net. She's not alone either. Keppel's with her, and we're getting into it again. And we're back at it here in front of the net. Sarah Nurse went into the net hard. We see Venetiava just lose the puck here. Monroe come out here. And the crowd was looking for a tripping call on Venetiava here, but Sarah Nurse picks up this puck and tries to put it by the Montreal defender, but goes flying into the net. Head first, it looks like her head hit the post there. And her cage comes undone, and that's where the big scrum begins. Trying to get Sarah Nurse out of their net there, but pushing her into their own goalie. So once again, we're going to see another player head to the penalty box, this time on a hooking call. Sarah Nurse in the face-off circle. Luna trying to help there. Yep, able to dig it out. Now Miller, Bujo springs from the penalty box along with Leslie. And a big block there for Poulin. That's exactly what Montreal has to do. So it'll be... Five on four now is Venetiava's penalty remains on the board and fast over to Turnbull. Back again. Trying to get settled. Miller freed from the penalty box. He spoke too soon. And left a Toronto player in the penalty box. Now, fast. Trying to get going. Spooner down low, up to flat, fast at the point. Free traffic in front, deflected up off the glass this time. Aaron Ambrose. Stop Poulin. Works it off the near wall as they go for a change. And a great kill here so far for Montreal. Doing the little things right. You have to block shots. Poulin with a big shot block. Obviously a goal scorer, but she can do it all. That's for sure. Now oh, fast. Tries to get it. Push it ahead. Of course, all these players in the penalty box means more time on the ice for the players that are there right now. Turnbull. Drops it for Flanagan. It is five on four for Toronto right now. Bucko sliding, but there's players on those roughing calls still in the penalty box. Campbell seeing the pressure there from Montreal and deciding to move that up the ice. Great option there for Campbell. Here comes Bach. She's got Malte with her. Catherine Daou. To get her stick on it, and Montreal again takes it away. And Venetiava just got in trouble with that hooking call. Do the work herself. One hand over to Stacy this time, and in front, oh, she can't get the shot off. So close, Stacy. Now Malte with speed, and the crowd behind her. She'll rim it around. Willoughby comes out, provides some fresh legs, and Flanagan finds Comfer Bette right behind her. Will be over to Flanagan this time. Back down low. Melody Daou with pressure. And in the corner now, Stacy Poulin. Toronto forced to clear it again from their own end. Keppel. It'll be an icing call. Started with four for Toronto, four for Montreal. But here we are back to even strength. Mila Ponticelli alongside Soroya Tinker with you for this game. Now Jesse Comfer, what a pass to Monroe. And just as quickly, Murphy takes it the other way. He's got space, and Pothikoff tries to put it past Campbell. It goes wide, and away we go. Comfer back again this time to Kogan, shoots. 
Julie read that one, didn't have to touch it. Back behind the net. Hogan comes through with it. Nurse with a shot, oh, and it's just wide. What a rocket from Sarah Nurse. And you see Sarah Nurse, she's able to find the soft spots in the ozone and put pucks on net, and that's exactly what her job is. She's finding those soft areas and making sure no one is attached to her hip or covering her. Not a fast line spooner. Goes cross ice Miller back to Nurse this time. Katie Tabin, right where she needs to be for Montreal in the slot. Forces it out, will rock through traffic. No tip in there. Came close fast. The Spooner shoots Julie with the save. Back to the hockey now. As Montreal wins that neutral zone draw. Punt does end up back in Toronto zone. Kristen Campbell in net. She's made 12 saves so far. 17 on the night for Elaine Chuli. That centering feed to Turnbull. Doesn't connect now. Montreal finds it from the outside. Malte battling to keep it in. Aaron Ambrose rims it around. Montreal tries to figure this out quick. Bach. Now Dao has it. Change for Montreal. Flanagan finds Bach near side. Just to get around Dubois. Monroe to Kogan. Bizzle gets her stick on it. Once again, Flanagan from the point, and Monroe here to help out along with Dubois. The force for Montreal, Dubois is now. Far side, Flanagan. Tries to find some space right in front. Sarah Lafour. Has to feed it to the middle. Leah Lampart near side and she throws it on the net. We are working below the goal line. Samantha Kogan with control. Comes through, shoots. Julie just able to make these reads. Thought it went back behind her, it was in front. Now Montreal going the other way, Venetia. She shoots, Campbell stops, loose puck. And finds Brittany Howard this time, but over to O'Neill, it was a giveaway. Marianne Rougeau, calm and collected. Now Rebecca Leslie sets up Howard. She pulls back, Nurse. Tries to control in front. Battle in front of the net. Maureen Murphy takes it away. No one to send it to. We've got a Montreal player down in front of the net here. We talked about this physical play. It's been hard on both teams. But again, Coach Corey Chevry said that Montreal needs to stick to their game plan and continue with that physicality. That's Catherine Dau. We'll keep an eye on Catherine Dau. Back to a Poulin. Right the puck. Down low in the Toronto zone. Stacy to Ambrose. Takes a shot. Stopped by Campbell. Closes. And Ambrose winds that up beautifully. That goes to show the smarts of Erin Ambrose here. She notices that somebody is leaning over into that shot lane. Natalie Sooner looking, sorry, Hannah Miller looking to block that shot. But Ambrose delays, fakes that shot, and then gets that one off on net. He does. Back to Ambrose, he'll just get right back to work. Finding that space. Love saved by Campbell. He's about the final minute here in the second period. Poulin, over to Ambrose, she sets up for the point, Stacy far side, top circle, back to Ambrose. Stacy in front, and what a block by Malte. Malte aggressive with it. She's got Monroe to help her out as well. 
And that's a great penalty kill for Emma Malte. She's pressuring, she's confident in her pressuring, is able to bring Laura Stacy to the boards, play that physically, and make sure her team gets the puck out. Coming into this game, Montreal has yet to score a power play goal on Toronto. They've had 10 opportunities before tonight. Now, Melody Dahu has room and saved by Campbell yet again. Wow, Melody Dahu all alone. And what a nice pass all the way down from the other end of the ice to find her on the breakaway. Emma, this second period kind of had it all. I mean, the penalties and then the drama back and forth. How would you describe, honestly, the first 40 minutes of this game? I mean, yeah, it's Montreal, Toronto. You're not going to get anything else but that. It's a really physical game. Um, a lot of good plays out there, and we want to just keep it going, keep trying to get under their skin and play our game. Well, you wouldn't know this, but your mom joined us in the booth during the first intermission. We asked her what she thought of your physical play. She loved it. I mean, overall, you're seeming to enjoy it, but just tell us about that and what you want to bring to the ice. Yeah, I'm a low center of gravity. I can get under people's skin, and yeah, it's kind of my identity to try to be hard to play against, and we need that tonight going against the cruise line, so I'm, I'm excited to bring that. I'm glad you talked to my mom. She's a firecracker. <laughs> well, thanks so much. Thanks. We'll look to get, start strong here in the third period. Last time they met February 16th. Scotiabank Arena was the third period that got going for Toronto Malte. Turns around, tries to get that one off. In front of Julie's net. Lane Julie with 20 saves so far coming into this third period. Stalemate at the boards. Samantha Kogan tries to get on it. LaRock with a point shot. Oh, and that one doesn't quite go what you'd expect. And that's not a bad shot choice. If that puck is rolling, you never know where it's going to go, so you might as well put it in on net. Your side, Comfort finds it. Pressure from Keppel. Bach in the corner with Ambrose. Ambrose trying to free it. Keep it worked around. The point again, this time. Behind Kogan in front! And Julie! Wow, what a save! Again, in front of her eyes. Again, Kogan left wide open in front of the net. Letting Chewy take these shots open end here. Montreal needs to tighten up this D zone and make sure they have somebody on their hips. Now Katie Tabin. Pushes it back into the Toronto end. Kristen O'Neill. Not quite. One on one there with Kogan. Montreal has it again. Taven sets up. Your point. Venetiava along the wall. Not a fast. Has to find it. Short passes here to try to clear it. Here's Sarah Nurse. She's had her moments too. Some big scoring chances. Natalie Spooner net front and. It's saved, turned away by Julie. And again, Miller providing an awesome screen on that play as well. Sarah Nurse comes across the blue line, is able to drop that to Natalie Spooner, but Miller providing that screen, so that puck almost went in from Natalie Spooner's shot. Here's Laura Stacy. now Poulin has it. The far side, Poulin doing everything on her own. Stacy shoots and it's just high. What a shot. Miller, Ambrose, Flanagan finds it first. There's Spooner. Sarah Nurse with the pressure. Melody Daou gets her stick on it. Now Keppel looks for the pass. Has Betteo in front. Daou was set up for the tip in. Montreal, of course, coming out knowing they just need one to tie it. Natalie Spooner open and wide open again. Gets that drop pass from Sarah Nurse, and that one looks like it hits the inside of that post and just bounces out the other side. But as I said before, Miller providing an amazing screen on that play to let Natalie Spooner put that one to the net. And a Miller with the puck. She opens scoring a minute 20 into this game. Natalie Spooner. 
Center down in the Montreal end. Head coach Troy Ryan telling us before the game that this team, his team that's on a eight game win streak, doesn't quite know how to close, how to how to finish games. He would have loved to see that 3-1 finish Wednesday become a 4-1 or a 5-1 even to really put a statement win together. And now they're facing this big test. He wants his team to put teams away and that means just burying them with shots on net and continuing to score no matter what the score is. Toronto with the edge on shots, 22 to 16 right now. Howard. Driving that pressure now, Knowles, and it's, she scores! It took teamwork, it took a post and a little bit of magic, but Rebecca Leslie gets her first PWHL goal to put Toronto up 2-0. What a great play here. We see Brittany Howard walk out from the corner with control. She's able to put that across to Olivia Knowles. Olivia Knowles taking a nice shot, six inches off the ice, and Rebecca Leslie is able to reach out and tip that, and that just one go, that one just goes past Chewy, and I'm sure she wants that one back. But again, a nice goal and a beautiful tip for Rebecca Leslie. But also the first point for Olivia Knowles from Campbell River, BC, 15th round pick. In this her 12th game of the season. This is Toronto 16, same with Montreal. Here's Katie Tabin though, with Ruth gloved by Campbell. Sarah Nurse in the faceoff circle. She's on a three game point streak as it is. She's adding another one tonight, so I guess four. On that first goal with Hannah Miller, and finds it again. Now David, she's got Dempsey with her. They can't control it. Miller to Spooner. Spooner getting caught up. Plenty of defense by Montreal. Here comes the four. Who stops that effort as Rougeau has to dig out now in front. Dempsey. Oh, it's taken away by Spooner. Not a clean clear. Montreal has it again. Catherine Daou. Looking with Leah Lum this time, and Miller's right in front. Quick change works in Montreal's favor there. As Bette there with Poznikov. Pressure from Monroe behind Bette. Getting in the mix. Trying to free it off the Comfer stick. Now Kogan clogged up, and Leah Lum. Hounded by Spooner. Here's a big chance, Bougeau driving in front, no backhand shot. Flanagan forces the action around the net. And a great play from Ali Monroe from the point, Bette off the glass. And Flanagan there to close in and not take a penalty on that breakaway that Bougeau had. Neither team really missing the chance to kind of jump on these opportunities, just unable to connect right now. Net behind Campbell. Montreal with 19 shots on goal so far. 24 for Toronto. And Bach in a race with Stacy. Stacy wins that one. Keppel sends it down. Fast looking back. Melody Dau right on it. Goes to the outside. Laura Stacy this time. Creating some space. Top of the slot. He bounce it off the near wall instead. Create some new opportunities. Poulin pressed to the near wall. Now fast on Stacy, jockeying for position. On the point, Ambrose to Keppel. Back again, Poulin! And it's just wide. What a shot from the captain. Two lead plays in. Right out of her crease to do that. Volte. And it, playing her game right now. And again, Daniela, this first line for Montreal looking to, for a goal. Laura Stacy all over the place. Maureen Murphy, she knows how to score in clutch moments. She's got O'Neill, far side. Turnbull, right on it. Anishava. Trying to extend that stick around. 
gets it on the puck. The Rock picks it up. Oh, there's the open gate once again. And what a play on the Rock. It's Turnbull does the work to clear it. Oh, Katie Jabin. Got to watch for number nine on Montreal, Bette. Back to Venetiava. They're working around, shot from the point, blocked by Knowles, taken around. And a great block by Olivia Knowles there. That's exactly what she has to do to keep her team in this. And Montreal away from Campbell. Approaching the halfway point of this third period. Montreal still looking for their first goal of the night. The set of chances. David uses the far wall. We're working it around, tries to find Bette, and just through the legs, Leslie. He just put away that second goal for Toronto. Spooner, one assist on the night already. In the back to Nurse. She's pushed off the puck. Poulin. Puck in the air, now Bougeau bats at it. Flanagan in first. Now Leslie again. Room for Toronto to move. Took the shot on net and Chuli redirects into the far side. Nurse. Good now play Stacy there now. Chasing it down fast and Stacy. Those two. Again, Fast and Stacey have been going at it all game long. A big part of the physicality in this game. Two of the best players in the game here. Know each other so well. Miller to Spooner. Rather, Miller to the near wall as Dau picks it up. Gets it over to Poulin, but it's offside. Rivals tonight, teammates for the Canadian national team headed to their sixth world championship appearance this April. Right now, Stacy with one goal in mind just to get Montreal on the board here tonight. They were kept off of it in their last meeting with Toronto. And their only two shutout losses have both been in front of max crowds, 13,000 plus in Minnesota. But here's Stacy going around, fast doing what she could, sliding all the way. And a great play from Renata Fast there. D didn't give Stacy the option to put that one on net as she had the long body in front of her diving out in front of the net. Where you find Fast, you find Stacy once again. Of course, Captain Turnbull for Toronto in the mix. There's Blair Turnbull. She's her state to get it to Connors this time. Connors, wind up shot, LaRock, stopped by Chuli and Rougeau. Love to see a defender taking a shot from the point. I've been noticing her little shot tally going up every game. Lorianne Rougeau, shootout winner against Montreal. Now Tabin. No, oh, check that, David. What a shot. Ambrose and in front. In the net, Campbell covers it up. Puck ends up on the benches and then. Wayne Chuli's net. Toronto really mounting that pressure for the shot. 39 to 19 at this time. In Montreal, they've been here before. Out shot, but able to get going. Approaching the final six minutes of regulation. Callie Flanagan. Aaron Ambrose brings it around. Kept in by Nurse. Got Spooner with her. Toronto. It up. Can't keep it away from Jillian Dempsey. She's forced to flip it down. Got David with her. Now the four along the point. Four can't. Keep it in possession there, Bizzle. And Daniela with five minutes left in this game, Montreal's gotta look to pour on the pressure, put every shot to net. 
Now Toronto's still finding ways to cut through. Here comes the rush, trying to set up David. Dempsey helps out, oh, and they just... Lady Julie is down here without a stick. Her stick is in the corner. Teammates really need to help her out. Keep that puck away. Now Howard got her stick on it and in front. Confer. Oh, it's just wide. Lane Julie without a stick. You see Katie Taven over here helping Elaine Julie out, getting that stick back in her hands. Montreal trying to. Regroup, Kogan with the feet to Bach. And Melody Dau with a nice steal in the slot. Up to Poulin, solid pass. Looks for support, finds Dau near side. Comes up on Monroe, along with Stacy in front. Dau doing what she does to bring it. It's close to the crease, Keppel to Ambrose. Good job, Laura Stacy there providing that screen for Ambrose to take that shot on net. Monroe just having Stacy's number. Not a fast. The perfect timing to push that puck back into the neutral zone. Just a quick stick. Truly. Sure, two goals against, but 32 shots faced. So you can see the lopsided shots on goal. And now it's an empty net for Montreal as they go six on five to get on the board. They'll keep Aaron Ambrose down low there. Helps send it all the way back in. Stacy Bujo, but not a fast. Montreal doing whatever it can to break this stalemate in the scoring for them. Got time, under three minutes left here. Dau, pressure from Malte. Malte's gonna want that. There's that empty net through the traffic and a kick save by Campbell. Stacy to Poulin. Now Ambrose and back again. Ambrose to Stacy. Oh, turned aside by Campbell. Montreal will have a go at it again. It's six on five, empty net. For the visitors, Poulin to Stacy in the slot in traffic, and it's again set near side. Fast in Connors in blue. Stacy Murphy, Bougeau, Sarah Nurse in an empty net. Here she comes. Oh, but Poulin has other plans. And Montreal doing what it can right now. Final two minutes in regulation. What a great comeback there for Poulin. She had Nurse's number on that one. Nurse getting on Venetiava, stick there. Keppel rushes to it. Pressure from O'Neill, Venetiava. Six on five, Montreal. Looking to get past Kristen Campbell. And an empty net, Spooner. Just circling Taven. So Montreal sets it up again. Finds Venetia but there will be a penalty coming against Jocelyn LaRock, the tripping call. And that's a tough call at the end of the game here. Jocelyn LaRock taking that penalty on Venetia but Venetia but going down. And that'll be a trip. But at the same time, Bulin, this last ship here, looks a little hurt. Cradling. Something there on the blue line, but here she is chasing Sarah Nurse down and stops her from getting that empty net chance. I mean, is there anything Poulin can do? <laughs> no, the answer is no. Toronto at 28 hits on Montreal. So Poulin in the face-off circle. This is, could be a pivotal power play here, but Emma Malte in an empty net. Here she goes. And 
she's speedy and scoring here for her mom and for Emanation here on International Women's Day. Well, we knew a one streak would come to an end, whether it was Toronto Kristen Campbell's streak or the streak of Elaine Chuli coming to this game, the only PWHL goaltender without a loss on the season. Five wins. She's been tremendous for Montreal. That was an empty netter, the third goal. Shades of battle on Bay Street as it was a 3-0 finish February 16th and the clock is winding down. Montreal still with some time here to at least get on the board. Leah Lum try to flip it up. LaFour. And so the crowd knows what this means. The home crowd that is not witnessed a loss at Mattamy since late January. We are now in March. Katie Tabin still working, trying to find some space. Now Maureen Murphy to Lum. Winds up, saved by Campbell. And cleared out by Callie Flanagan. Nine straight wins for PWA.